French in Jesus Christ, today the church celebrates the solemnity of Saint Joseph, the husband of Virgin Mary. So when you speak of Joseph, the lifestyle, he was a just man, he was a protector, he was a good shepherd for the Holy Family. How he was a just man, when he came to know that Mary conceived uh, before he could engage with her or before he would go for the marriage, then he quietly decided, he qu decided quietly to divorce her, uh, not to bring her to public disgrace public disgrace. So it was an insult if he could have done it. But being a just man, he did not want Mary to go through the public disgrace. So he wanted to quietly divorce her and then as he was sleeping, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream saying that do not hesitate to take Mary as your wife because the child that she has conceived is by the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son and you have to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. He is the promised Messiah. You know, we can take it like that. So, in the life of the Jews, like uh, how they how they come to a uh, marriage agreement. So, when the when the when the child is so small, when the child when they are child, um, a boy and the girl, when they are child, when they are like children. So they decide, the parents decide themselves, okay, let both of them get married. And the ch children were not aware of it. And then as they grow up, uh, they come to betro bet betrothal and then engagement and so on. Like that process will take place in the, li in the, pe in the life of the pe pe people of Jew Jews. So uh, like that process only, Jesus, uh, Joseph was also there. And then as you, I have said, it, said to you earlier, that happened. Uh, that's how he expressed being a just man. And then how he was a protector. Once he accepted the will of God, he was ready to do the will of God. And then uh, whenever the angel was telling Joseph, take the child, go to Egypt. And uh, in Egypt, take the child and go back to Jerusalem, Bethlehem, uh, go back to Nazareth because the because Herod, Herod is dead. So like that, you know, he was guiding them. He was protecting the holy family. He was protecting them in that way, and in and in uh, he was shepherding them, protecting them, uh, like that. These qualities we can take from the life of Joseph. Uh, Joseph, a great, a just man, a good shepherd, and uh, he was ready to do the will of God in his life, dear friends. So, as you see in today's gospel, it also speaks about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one who brings the truth about God. It is the one who tells the prophets what they have to say. It is the one who tells the messenger what they have to do. So all the instructions are given to the prophets or the men of God by the by the Holy Spirit. God does this through the uh, through the Holy Spirit, and that's how you know the things will, goes goes on and on. And also when you speak of Jesus Christ, he was the image of he was the perfect man who showed God to us. It is through Him we can see God. It is only through Him we can experience God. It is only through Him we can encounter God the Father, dear friends. So as you overall analyze today's gospel, we can take the quality of Saint Joseph, being a just man, being a good shepherd, and also we can see the quality of uh, Holy Spirit. It reveals the truth about God to men. Let us be a truthful person in our day to day life. Let us be a just man. Let us be a good shepherd to other persons. And as Jesus resembles the Father, as, as he shows the image of God, the face of God, let us be a face. Let us be the face of God to other people in our day to day life. Thank you.